Korea dancers from Singapore. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for Mikhail and Alessia Yeremeva uh, that asked me to give you some interview for you. Uh, and of course, I am very happy to give some answer and of course share with you my opinion. In this difficult situation in the world, everybody feels very strange, right? So, uh, but I give you some suggestion. In this moment, many of families sit at home and cannot go away or exit. But we need to understand, maybe during our dancing season, we have a holiday. And this holiday, it's now. So let's try for this situation in good way. Yeah, so it's positive. And when we look on this situation positive, we can find some interesting things. So, first of all, maybe we can stay with our family more than normally. We can enjoy our communication. We can stay more and longer with our children. So, in this moment, maybe we can find some place. Maybe we can do something together. And after this crisis, <laughs> Maybe we remember these days and we would like to do it one more time. Of course, from another side, this is very sad that we cannot go to our beautiful dance studio, we cannot practice. But uh, in this moment, I know many of my um, friends that give some online lessons. And I think this is a very good idea. Uh, because uh, during our private lesson in the studio, we have not enough time to, for example, improve our feet, improve our own balance, improve our position. So, of course, if we have the possibility to practice on the small place at home uh, together, it will be, of course, better. But not many couples have this possibility and need to practice alone. In this moment, I suggest give you some exercise that improve your footwork, that improve your balance, that you can um, better understand the rotation, how to separate rotation from up of body and how to separate the uh, rotation from your legs. And I, I think that can help you a lot when you come back in the studio and you can practice together. So thank you so, so much thinking about you, be healthy and see you next week in Galaxy Dance World Class Lecture and I hope you can enjoy and I try to do my best. See you. Bye bye. Hello Singapore! Hello Singapore! Nice to see you and uh, we hope that you stay good in this difficult period. It's difficult for everybody, but I hope that you are positive, you are practicing, you're working hard and uh, of course you're watching many, many lectures and you will come back stronger than ever. And it's very big pleasure that we will see all of you to the Galaxy Dance World Class Lecture very, very soon. Bye. bye bye. See you.
Hello everyone, good evening. How are you doing this evening? Okay, nice to see you. Uh, guys, please write comments how the sound and the video before we start our webinar. <laughs> yes, so please write it down. I hope you all enjoy your day and you have Great evening and today <laughs> Okay, waiting for your comments before we start with our topic. How about the sound um, and the video? So we want that you feel good and you listen everything what we are sharing with you today. So waiting for comments for maybe one minute <laughs> before we start okay everything is good and welcome tonight with you Alessia and Mikhail my handsome assistant on the background thank you very much <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> yes so we are top seven professional ballroom show runs a national representative for Singapore. We have 28 years of competitor experience in ballroom and Latin. And our mission with Mikhail to connect all passionate people who love and enjoy dancing. And we're here for you to contribute our experience and our knowledge with you guys. And tonight, at the end of the webinar, we have something special for you. We have special performance. So stay tuned till the end of the session and watch it with us. So let's start with our topic. Tonight topic, do you know which one? Tonight we will talk about dresses, which design will look outstanding on the floor will suit yourself which color will look the best on you will look the best on the floor so today we will cover these things with you as a lady i think 
this is really, really important. I feel myself when I'm dancing, if I'm sure and I feel confident about my dress, that it suits me well, it's a beautiful color, it's matching our couple image, then I can like feel 100% confident and then I can uh, think about my performance. So I think it's one of the important things when you perform on a competition or when you go on your social nights, on your uh, parties, it's your costume, it's your dress. So today we'll talk about the dresses and maybe one of the session we will talk about the tail coat, right, Mikhail? Maybe he can share something with the guys as well. Guys, if you like to hear one of the session about tail coat, please write comment yes. Yes, write comment yes, guys. <laughs> okay, so girls, please participate. This is really important session tonight. Write down your questions right away. And tonight I will share my experience on my own dresses. I will share with you my pictures and we will discuss about uh, the pictures, about the dresses with you. So write down the questions and let's go. Number one, number one when we start to talk about the dress, it's our, of course, we can talk about design, we can talk about the color, we can uh, talk about the shape of the dress, uh, but we will start with the length of the dress. How long could be your dress? Yes, we know that there is um, all this fashion. So this year we have in fashion long dress. Maybe next year we have in fashion short dresses. So feathers, no feathers, a lot of crystals, no crystals. So we try to always be um, in trend, right? And number one, let's talk about the lane. So uh, about the lane, girls, when we're dancing together with a partner, of course, for example, when I'm staying myself, my dress, my length of the dress can look good on me. But the moment when I start to dance with my partner, maybe I go a little bit lower, or maybe I need to stretch a little bit up. So it depends on your partner relationship. And we need to really understand this and think about this. So we have uh, basically two choices. <laughs> if the girl much shorter than the guy, much shorter than the guy, she needs to look, of course, taller. And the length of the dress could be long. Uh, the length could be till the ankle big bone. I'm not suggesting to do the length till the heel because anyway when you dance you will go down and it can be dangerous when you dance uh, you or your partner can step on the dress and then you can slip so uh, I think maximum the length could be till your ankle okay if your uh, partner if you are uh, your partner is very tall and you are shorter than the guy so you need to feel taller and the dress could be long. Uh, for example, if we have opposite situation, when the girl is same height or slightly taller than the guy, so for her, the dress needs to be shorter because the moment when she's dancing, she's of course stretching the presentation, but she needs to go slightly lower with the legs, with the knees, and the dress. And that moment when she's taking position for the dress, the dress should be above um, ankle bone, above ankle bone. And the moment when she's standing, the dress 
can really look short. But remember, we watching the how couple looks, not yours how you look on so the dress only. So as a package, right? And the Mikhail will uh, share now the first photo, and you can see the length of my dress. Uh, this picture uh, was made a uh, long time ago, and at that time, uh, there is picture number one. And that time, uh, it was in the fashion, uh, short dresses, really short dresses. And you can see on a picture, my dress really much above the ankle, really. Even when I dance in this dress, it still looks uh, quite short. Because that time, it was a high fashion to have a short dresses. But even if uh, there is a fashion in short dresses, I'm not suggesting to do this kind of design if you are much shorter than your partner, then you will look even shorter. So, but for me, because we are the same height, that time it was, uh, looks okay. But personally, after this experiment, I decided to go a little bit longer. <laughs> and uh, Mikhail will show the next photo where uh, I would say the length of the dress is really nice. So it's a second photo. Um, yes, look, this is the picture made while uh, we dance. And you can see that the length of the dress above the ankle. But it's the right proportion now of the couple. You can see that it's not makes me too long. It's not makes me too uh, short. It's just a really uh, uh, right, uh, I would say, the length of the dress. So, and the, what you need to feel uh, when you are uh, measure or you are trying uh, your dress when you buy the dress or when you make the dress, you need to go soft flag and then measure your skirt. So the moment when you stay up, the skirt can be different uh, a level. But you need to feel when you're dancing with a partner, how is your um, position? Are you too low or are you in the soft knees? And then you measure uh, your dress from that moment. Okay, uh, Mikhail, thank you very much for this photo. Oh, uh, uh, yes, if we have questions, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we have from Jay. Mm -hmm. So, do you clarify your choice of gown based on the trend of matching or unique dresses or, or color you like and suitable for the dance floor? Yes, uh, Jay, uh, this is a great question. Uh, yes, we will co uh, cover about the color slightly later, uh, and we will finish with the design first. Uh, yes, of course, I'm watching uh, the trend, and I'm trying to be, of course, uh, step uh, go together with the trend. If it's a short, yeah, I will try to make it shorter. If it's a midi, okay, midi. If it's a long then uh, maybe not because I'm already quite tall. So for myself personally, I can't uh, wear too long dresses. The later I will have some um, photo as well. Um, I will show you uh, how it looks when you have longer dress. But if you have a perfect uh, high relationship with your partner, when the girl is slightly shorter than the guy, you can go for all kind of dress length, uh, long, short, or medium. Okay, so uh, this is about the length. Now let's go. Um, we have a question. We have a second question from Andrea. Is it true that the stone on the waist easily causes permanent scratches on the polyester based on health issues that cannot be repaired? Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, you yes. <laughs> yes. Look, uh, if we're using the normal crystal, 
pearls, normal, without any metallic. If, for example, I have the ring, you can see there is the, um, some support for the stone. Then, when you have this kind of crystals with a metal support around, of course, yes, you will damage uh, your tail and you cannot repair, I'm sorry. But I'm not suggesting to use this kind of crystals, not because you spoil uh, the tail put of your partner, of course it's important, but also uh, it's quite uh, dangerous also during the dance. If you have the crystals, these metal crystals on the arms, you can uh, <laughs> stuck with somebody else on the middle of the floor and also you can uh, scratch your own skirt as well by uh, moving your arm. So these crystals, uh, no. If the normal crystals here, no problem at all. You will not uh, spoil your tail coat. Everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, so now let's go. Uh, we we'll talk a little bit about the um, proportion of our body, right? So I have here, um, silhouette of the dress uh, so uh, guys I'm not an artist to draw the perfect pictures but uh, you can understand so this is the body this is the skirt so we are all different and we have different uh, body length body length so for me maybe hip will be here for somebody else, hip line will be here. So we have um, different body size, body length. And if we look from the, our neck till end of the dress, so we need to find right proportion where our skirt will start. And for example, if I just uh, draw for you, if you want to look slimmer and longer with your body you can start your skirt lower so then the skirt will look shorter and the body line will look longer but if you already your uh, body line is quite long uh, be careful right so don't make it really too long otherwise your legs will look short but if we have an um, opposite, uh, you want to make your skirt longer and create a big volume when you dance, you can start uh, to do your uh, skirt somewhere here. And we have a next photo, uh, number three, where you can see this example with a long, uh, longer skirt. Yes, this one, you can see that the skirt starts really high and then it's become quite a big volume and the body line become slightly shorter okay thank you very much uh, this is you can decide yourself but you need to understand your proportions girls yes because if you're for example i saw so many times when um, the body line for the lady is quite short and they choose design that the skirt starts from here so then this part the upper part become really really short and then when the girl is dancing this become quite small on the top so this you you can stay on the mirror you can look at yourself you can take a photo and then watch yourself from the side and then you can analyze how uh how big is your body how long is your body sorry not the big long and how about your legs and what you want to uh prefer on a competition big skirt or a long body line so i would say uh the proportion when you have 50 percent and 50 percent always twin so we can create different design, but the proportion where your skirt starts is important uh, as well. So, and then on top of this, we can create the 
open back, close back, sleeves, no sleeves. This is already details. But the first, you need to understand your lane of the dress. And second, you need to um, choose which proportion you want to have for your dress and which proportion will look good on you. And remember that you dance with a partner. You're not dancing solo, right? So you stay together with your partner in your couple hold and important that your hips will be together, okay? And then I suggest, for example, the golden proportion. When your hips and your skirt and the hip of the partner start on the same point. So it's not too up, it's not too down. So then it's become really a perfect proportion for the dress and for the couple. But you know we have a passion. We want to uh, try something new and it looks different. And of course you can make this different, right? And um, next photo, please, Mikael. You will see on this photo um, number four, I think. <laughs> yes. Okay. This uh, beautiful dress. Uh, a lot of crystals, feathers. In a, this dress, we will stay a little bit longer uh, because this example of the length, of the shape, and of the color. Okay, let's start first of all about length. You can see that the length of this dress is a little bit longer. And from the top picture, you can see that the silhouette, because the dress is longer, Silhouette makes uh, myself longer, right? Second thing, you can see that the skirt start also quite low. So then the body line become longer, okay? Ah, okay, 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 okay. So then I will show on myself, I will show on myself. So, Oh, don't leave the picture. It's a beautiful. Let it stay for a while, please. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, you can see about the proportion that the skirt, uh, probably over here, yeah. Some, it's very uh, long body line, and then it starts with the skirt, okay? So then it's become long. And... Um, yeah, this is one of my uh, favorite dresses and it looks so elegant. It is heavy because it's a lot of crystals, uh, but it's really shiny from the floor. I see on the photo below, there is another beautiful girl. Do you know who is this? <laughs> this is um, Yule Stiftseva. This we took this photo a few years ago with her. She's so nice and kind person and we just met with her on the competition and it was a wonderful time together. Um, we have this similar dresses actually with her similar design and Yule will be here this week with us on a workshop so and one more thing about this dresses before Mikhail will move it so color, color of the dress. Look, this is the skin color, whole body skin color. And if you decided to choose this color on your dress for your competition, you need to pull really a lot of crystals. Why? Because the skin color will look um, fading on the floor because the floor also is a similar color so and if you want to choose this design you need really a lot of crystals girls okay thank you very much Mikhail and then we will uh, move uh, later for the next picture uh, we have a question. yeah what ha what happens when you realize that another couple in the same category are wearing the same dress as you do you quickly change the dress if you are in time 
Okay, very good questions. So the chance actually. And this is why uh, new spell gown is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, look, the chance to have exactly the same dress on a competition, same category, same heat, very little, right? But of course, in that moment when you have the situation I'm not suggesting you to panic and quickly run away and change the dress because it will affect your mood so you need to be confident this dress you wearing for yourself maybe another girl wearing the same dress or similar design she has different proportion different high relationship with the partner it will look completely different. Like, for example, on that picture with Yulia, the dress is not the same, but it's really similar. But... Well, she added, this is only one in the world, and uh, this is two. They made uh, as an uh, experiment. Can you say? Yes. This? Yeah, these uh, two dresses was uh, made uh, specially for uh, us, and it was... Uh, so nice to share these designs and it was different color you see it's slightly different colors and the Yulia she is a blonde I'm oh, oh Yulia is a brunette so oh. she she's a dark color myself is a blonde so we already look different so even if we have 100% 100% same dress we will look different on the floor we have so many times when you go for big competition and you will see on the same heat you have like a five couples same color it's fine be yourself you need to feel confident this you only one with this dress then go for it and dance present yourself and be 100% sure you are the best so please Go for it and don't change anything. <laughs> okay, so the next, um, Michael, can we have a colors, color picture? Yes, thank you very much. So now let's move to the colors. On this color uh, wheel, we have warm colors and we have a cool colors. Same with our skin. Of course, we have different many different type of the skin but basically we divide warm color of the skin and cool color of the skin so it's very easy look at the chart for the warmest color skin the best will look shade of orange brown red so the cherry color so this will look great on you if you have a warm color skin i'm not suggesting uh to go like with like blue or like a soft pink or like a soft blue because it will um not really match with your skin if we have for example cool color skin so we go for the cooler colors like uh, deep blue soft pink, soft blue, soft purple, then it will match your dress and the whole picture will look on the floor uh, great. So the same will happen with our normal life actually. But it's only one trick for competition. What we can do, we can change the skin color actually, right? So we can put more training if your skin is a cool color, it's a slightly fur, so you can make it bright, right, and darker. And then, of course, you can go for different color, okay? But, for example, if uh, your skin is warm color, actually, you can also put some um, softer color powder and um, you can choose also different color of the dress. But this is the general in a life, so... Take the note of this uh, color wheel and uh, you can choose the right color for you. So, 
Girls, I have a question before I share to you. What color of the dress you think will look the best on the floor? Please write your comment. Which color? Maybe white? Maybe red? Maybe green? Which color? We have a many different colors. And what do you think? Because I want to hear your uh, ideas before I share my experience with you uh, with my own dresses. Okay, so type, yes, please. The waiter gave, uh, wrote, wrote a message that thanks for advice because it happened before uh -huh. uh, about the dress. And they want to share about something personal or like the personal design or like uh, which is most beautiful for the many, many years. Mm -hmm. They want to share something. Uh, yes, I want to share about the design while a girl is typing which color, which color. <laughs> so, once, uh, as I mentioned before, once you understand your proportion, you can find your own design, which you can use for many years. Because your body basically is not changing. So, if you're tall, you're tall. If you're short, you're short. So, if you have a short neck so we can't change much so very important things girls you need to feel from your and see from your video and your pictures what is your advantages you need to always show your advantages if you have a long neck you need to show long neck please don't put any um, necklace which covering your neck you need to show your neck second if you have a beautiful body line your back line use the open back show your shape show your line if you have a good frame you have a long arms use it but of course if you have something which you don't want to show and you want to cover of course, you can cover, you can put sleeves, you can make your dress more close here, for example. You can close your back, but please don't close your neck anyway, <laughs> because the neck is creating the long line for you when you're done. So this is a very simple thing. Neck, so this uh, front part, your chest, your back, and your arms. So this four things which you need to keep in mind when you are choosing your own design okay and uh, and answer i know the color you can uh move okay, so, so we have we have sparkling red dress we have from lindoris red from andrea pastel purple haha you you don't see colors often and will be eye-catching. From Andrea, you're really a pro, I can see. Uh, from Chile, it has royal blue. From June, it's yellow. And from Rosalie, it's silver. And from green. Mm -hmm. From Andy, yellow. From Michelle, mint green. Uh -huh. From Jay, cool colors, blue is good. From Yasmin, yellow, and Jade, white is the most neutral. Wow, we have the whole wheel here. <laughs> Thank you, almost, guys. Almost, almost yes, almost, almost. almost. Uh, we have red, we have a green, we have so many yellows. Yes, yellow, even the bright yellow. So, um, Michael, let's go to the next photo and I think it's number five. five now I will show more photos so you can see the design so number five what you can see black and red the red color red color I will say to you from green we have J green okay the red color will always look standing on the floor it doesn't matter what color the lighting what color the floor competition 
red always good in my picture it's contrast black and um, red so it looks uh, I think more eye-catching <laughs> because it's a combination it's a contrast of the colors but here also you need to be careful uh, play with the contrast right so you need to find a really good match for contrast if you decided to go for it but uh, for this uh, combination I said red is good okay uh, next photo please and we'll see the difference and I will not say before Mikhail will put the photo <laughs> so here we have a black so nobody say black why you decided that the black color will not look good because it's dark right of course if you have a plain black color you may um, melt with your partner <laughs> with a black tail coat but if you put like here I have example a uh, black color with a really um, bright yellow crystals will make again the good contrast and that photo was on a black pool and on a black pool there's very strong light and it's really eye catching and it's really bright on the floor so this is this is my favorite dress from all my years i have a many dresses which i like and this is the one which i feel this is the right dress and i feel like a superstar on this dress uh, i just mentioned a little bit more about the dress why i like it because of course the color is contrast it's a great volume from the skirt it's a good length you can see that the balance of the dress is good and it's feathers and now girl feathers in a trend so choose the feathers for future dress so and it's a very nice uh, body line like here we have it's nice body line and open chest when you opening this part the front it's always will give you additional volume when you dance dance so this is my secret for you <laughs> okay and we can go for the next picture so uh, yes. uh can we can we have um another uh, black and yellow black and yellow yes yes this one this one yeah another contrast another black and yellow um this is my latest dress um you can see that the body line here is longer and it's bright skirt with the light feathers gives additional um like a eye catching on the floor and here if you notice i don't have a, a floats I have a beautiful big volume uh, sleeves, uh, netting sleeves. And uh, this was uh, made, this trend of these sleeves, get cool. It was inspiration for my this dress, Edita de Nyuta. She's always, she's always creating she's always creating um something unusual for the dresses and um this was my inspiration for this dress to put something different on the floor and uh, dita will be here uh this week on sunday for our lectures okay type the comments guys if you like to join us and we will give you some more details and um, to finalize about the session show, today can i show them because uh, many people join can i show them uh yeah, yeah yes sure sure yes you can show um uh, right now yes <laughs> and then uh, uh, type the comments guys if you uh, 
want to hear uh, and uh, see more details about our workshop this week with the three world champions. Okay. Hey guys, join us for this unbelievable three days with the three world champions and get your own inspiration from them because they can really inspire you with even small things like me. Of course, they inspire me so much, but even about my sleeve for the dress, <laughs> I really like it much and if you notice i have two dresses with this kind of sleeves because i really like it so and um finalize about our session today i will give you uh, my answer my own experience of course it can be different opinion but for myself on the floor any color floor any lighting outstanding will always look red and royal blue these two colors always will look really great on the floor, really so it can be many different combinations many colors many design but these two colors always looks great okay and i just show one more photo michael can you show uh blue and white from our Blackpool, it's one of the last no, photos. Which one? Is the uh, any, any, because the dress still the same. Yes, the royal blue color. You can see this not just blue; it's a deep blue color, and combination with the white give this a uh, nice contrast and eye catching on the floor. This was also the Blackpool uh, picture. And I really like this dress because of the contrast. Even I don't have any clothes and any sleeves for this dress, but because the body here, it's really deep color and you don't need to put more crystals for this kind of uh, fabric and um, color. So it will look great on the floor. So um, girls, um, I was so happy to share uh, my uh, experience and my knowledge about the dresses and I still have a lot of things to share with you um, yeah you can see one more photo here of the dress and there is um, who is the, on the background is it Marcos <laughs> Marcos yes okay and then you can see from the front part actually this is open chest as well which give from the far away again additional volume for you so girls please write the comments what you want to hear for the next sessions because there is so much details about the dress about the shoes yeah by the way we will definitely do one of the sessions we will talk about the shoes how we can 
choose the shoes, decorate the shoes, uh, color the shoes. We can talk about it. So, thank you very much for joining us today. And I hope uh, my experience and my um, knowledge about the dresses for tonight give you some ideas for your future design. Yes, uh, Rob, you look so gorgeous in all gowns. Oh, mwah. thank you very much. Yeah. Choose the right dress for you girls. Yeah, analyze yourself and, and draw the picture for you for your future dress. Okay, if we don't have a questions, we will open. Hey, thank you. Always welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm surprised that the gentlemen also watching and give the great comments and the great questions as well. Gentlemen, you just look, girl. Sometimes gentlemen really care so much about you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so important. Yes. You know it. It's true, it's true, yeah. Uh, we have a question from okay. Song Zhu. What do you think about flowery dress? Flowery dress, mm. yes, it's, um, it's a good question. I start to straight away imagine the flowers on my head. Be careful, what kind of flowers? If it's a small print, no, it's not the flowers here. <laughs> it's not the flowers here. But if you have a small print flowers, it will look fine. But if you have a big print, like big flowers, I suggest that you put this kind of flowers on a, some uh, place, not the whole dress with a flower. Yeah, remember girls, dancing ballroom. Yeah, June, it's a ballroom. If you're doing a Latin, yes, we can move uh, more uh, flowers yeah, it will look more attractive because the lighting is more uh, moving and shaking, but the ballroom is still uh, more elegant. Yeah, and don't put too much things on your dress. Yes, uh, I just realized we have a red one behind. Yes, uh, actually, there. yes, yes, this is the dress, and this is the sleeves from Edita. <laughs> and it, there is a contrast between red and the black color. Okay, so and then you can see that the volume from the sleeves creating the nice picture. Okay, thank you very much. And now I can see you staying till the end. As we promised, we have special performance right now for you. Can you say something more about performance? Oh, this is performance. This is our show, World Championship and Show Dance in Vienna last December. It's a story of our life. This is show description and please watch. Do you want to answer for one more question? Uh, okay. okay, let's do it. <laughs> How should we uh, be measuring for dresses? For tails, measure various colors. Should the same be done for Measuring. measuring of course yes our dress needs to suit us perfect and we really need to measure every single detail so the dress will look perfect and important that you feel comfortable when you dance and, and the last thing then we jump to the show next question can you share about accessories to make our dresses and what yeah. is too much accessory yes so great questions. We have accessorized for the hair. We have accessorized for our neck, um, wrist, wherever. Very good questions. Jay, thank you very much. We'll share next time. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Thank you.